Isla by Arthur Dorros, illustrated by Elisa Cleven. When Abuela, my grandma, tells me stories, we can fly anywhere. Today she is telling me about La Isla, the island where she grew up. We are flying there together. We travel a long, long way to where it is always warm. Mira, Abuela calls, mi esmeralda. I look, I see her island sparkling like a green jewel in the sea. Aire tropical, says Abuela, taking a deep breath. The hot, damp air smells salty. We fly over forests, fields, and tiny towns to visit Tio Fernando, Tia Isabel, and my cousin Elena. Even though we are up high, they see us and wave. Tio Fernando is my uncle, my mamá's brother. Abuela is their mother. She raised them on la isla. Bienvenidas! Tío Fernando welcomes us. He and my mamá grew up in this house with abuela and abuelo, my grandfather. Abuelo died before I was born. Now Tío Fernando lives here with his family. I think he looks like my mamá, except he has a beard. El osito, abuela calls him. The little bear Abuela shows me all around. In the front room, she and Abuelo used to run a little store. On the wall next to a picture of the store is a painting of Tío Fernando with a giant fish. Que pescado, Abuela says, telling me what a fish it was. Tío Fernando found it in a shallow stream. He brought it home to keep for a pet. Abuela said the fish would be happier in the river. Tío Fernando was sad to see it go, so Abuela painted the picture for him. Los niños, Abuela says, showing me a picture of some children. It's my mamá and Tío Fernando playing in a fountain. Abuela and Abuelo built the fountain with stones from the rainforest. It is still in the yard. Es mágica, Abuela says. The fountain does seem magical. The water splashing over stones sounds like birds singing. Now Abuela wants to show me more of la isla. Elena says she'll meet us later at the beach. Que disfruten, she calls. She wants us to have fun. Vamos a la selva, says Abuela. We are going to the rainforest where the fountain stones came from. We fly there with parrots flapping beside us. The treetops are a bright garden, I tell Abuela. Y una sombrilla, Abuela says. They are an umbrella too. Down below, it is dark and cool. Como la noche, like night, Abuela tells me. But she can scoop up a tree, a tree frog or a lizard running on a leaf. Forest eyes are open wide. My eyes are open too. Hay mucho más que ver, Abuela says, taking off. There is much more for us to see. We fly to the busy old city, zooming between colored buildings and over bl blue brick streets. Above the square, Abuela and I spin and dip for the people below. Pájaros grandes jugando, Abuela says and laughs. We are like big birds playing.
We zoom down to the harbor where the big ships are. De todo el mundo, abuela tells me. They come from all over the world. Mira, she points to a large building. It was made by Spanish people who sailed to the island hundreds of years ago. Abuela and abuelo used to come to the city to buy things for their store. Ha cambiado, abuela sighs. The city has changed. Now there are tall buildings and parking lots and supermarkets. Vamos al viejo mercado, she says. She wants to go to an old market. And we do go, soaring above highways. To an old market in the countryside. People call out what they are selling. Platanos, mangos, papayas, cocos, piñas dulces, abuela calls. When she was little, her family grew sweet pineapples to bring to the market. The market is hot and crowded. Soon we are ready to cool off. Vamos a nadar, abuela says. She used to swim here when she was my age. Vain, she takes my hand and we dive in. All kinds of fish flash around us. Round fish, thin fish, fish with stripes, and fish with spots. Abuela leaps and dives too. Nuestro circo, she says. We have our own circus. Mi pez volador, she tells me. I'm her flying fish. Tia Isabel, Tio Fernando, and cousin Elena join us. Tio Fernando is wearing his snorkeling goggles. Abuela jokes that he looks like a forest frog. We float on our backs, and the water meets the sky. We can float anywhere. When we get home, we are hungry from our swimming. Volemos! Abuela calls. We fly up into the treetop to pick ripe mangoes. Our hands get sticky from the syrupy juice. Abuela picks the ripest ones for Elena and me. We'll help make a salad with mangoes and other island fruits. I'll tell Elena about what I've seen on her island. After our meal, we sit out in the garden. Birds, insects, even frogs are chirping. Nos cantan, Abuela says they are singing to us. The plants around us smell sweet and strong. It feels like the garden is our room, with las estrellas, the stars, our ceiling. Ya es hora de partir, Abuela announces. It is time to go. The stars will light our way. We fly through the night, back, back, toward home. When we see New York City, the lights look like thousands of stars. Es mágica, I say to Abuela. Si, sí, she agrees. Es mágica. After so much flying, we need to sleep. Abuela asks me what I'm thinking about. La isla, I tell her. Nuestra isla, she tells me. I do feel like it is our island. We can visit it any time. Pronto, Abuela says. Soon, 